Hello, it's Glenn again here from franchisebuyer.com.au and this is the second video and just trying to show you the easy and quick way to create the text and get your video ready for upload uh, to create your business profile using images and text. And as I said, um, we just grabbed Zaraf Zarafa's Coffee Rockhampton text straight off Dion's listing there. We just grabbed a few points and sort of meshed them all together. I did say previously it's at 196 words and I think I thought it was a little bit long so we're trying to aim for about 170 or 150 to 170. So my thought is um, we, let's do a chop out uh, benefit great lifestyle. There's no right or wrong. You may agree, disagree. It's up to you whatever you've spoken to your vendor about about their key selling points that they want to focus in on and that's really what will guide you but you also need to um, be straight up, straight up forward with them about what obviously the marketplace is essentially going to care about so but I'm sure you're good at that so we also got rid of the national marketing message there as well because we can only fit so much into a video presentation on a specific business and I think we're probably a bit top heavy in the, in Zarafa's general comments so I think um, that we'll get rid of this one with their tagline and all that sort of stuff um, uh, and where it says uh, something of an icon to many and more of a many Gold Coasters and more of a many Queenslanders um, I think we even cut out that whole bit there as I say, no right or wrong, this is not a Hollywood production. You're just trying to get a message across on the key points of the business and make it all fit as much as you can and as best you can and make it look as good as we can to present the business. Okay, so um, what helped me actually in going through that, you'll see on this page there's sample video text here. Of these demo videos we have down here, uh, the noodle box one there for Mount Barker, I also got the guys to put in the actual text for that. And so you can see just how lean that text is that goes through for the Mount Barker one there. So it also gives you some guidance there and what you should be looking for in your own text. Okay, so, and what we essentially did with that is that we just put an image as I go down with my cursor there to each of those points. You can do it like that or you can do it however you wish. Maybe some of you would only want three or four images if you've got great images for a particular spot or not enough images. It's totally up to you. Um, but you obviously have to be aware about how it might look when it turns out. So I think we can start, so it's Zarafa's Coffee, proudly Australian owned. This is what we do. So I'd say a good one here, let's start with the logo. And because I don't have much time here, I'm not going to rename everything into image one, image two. So I'm putting that, that'd be my number one, okay? So I'm putting him at the top. So let's just do it like this for the moment, number one. Um, Zarafa's uh, coffee has become somewhat of an icon. Yep, okay, well there's Kenton Campbell, you don't need to name him or anything like that, so he's showing his branding and everything there. So let's make that image number two. So when the voiceover says that, it'll breeze over to that. Now, we mentioned Zarafa's uh, coffee, Rockhampton. So let's just say that this image I grabbed, because I know you've, all, you've got a bunch of images on file all the time, often for these, or you've got to go out and get them. Let's just say that that image is Zarafa's coffee, Rockhampton, it's a great shot of it, okay? So let's say that's... This is just to help you guide you along. There's number three. So that'll stay on there. Now, um, I like these points going down here. I'd like to put a, the team is there because I think that's a very important point, as we all know. Um, people love to come in with an established team. I found an image there of Zarafa's coffee team working away. So let's um, say that that is point four or image four. Um, and then, so that'll stay on for a little bit. Um, let's get a little customer place training provided. Okay, so another one in here that I like. Let's just say this is still outside the store. That can be uh, image five. Now these might be tightly compressed. You, you can work through and we can massage them through. I'm just trying to show you the quick way in principle of how it works. Stockland Shopping Centre, I think that's a great one to have there. Bang, I'll grab that off the web. So be careful grabbing stuff off the web. This is for illustration purposes only. This is copyright issues and all sorts of things there. Um, my expectation is that you will have a bunch of stock images for your business listings. Okay, so what I've created there is the spot where you'd have one, two, three, fourth, fifth, and six images. So I would then take these, that'd be number six, that'd be number five, that'd be number four, and so on. And then when you, uh, uh, you're all ready to go, you would upload, you would upload them into this in here. Okay, so as you go down, then you'd be grabbing that browse image, image one, you'd go over to image one that we just grabbed over there for it, and you, you know that you've got copy, paste that text in there. Image two, copy, paste, or oh, sorry, text. So these are the things that are going to roll forward. It's a it's a very quick way to it, and really once you once you get the hang of it, just don't be so harsh on yourself about how to put them together and making them all perfect. Get them in, get them done, and let's just get the marketing happening for your business. Um, so um, that's that's the way it can work, and I hopefully that helps. It's a real fast and easy way to get these listings done, primarily using all the information you'll have very easily at hand. I can't imagine these things will take any longer than just a few minutes each time to do it, especially once you get used to doing it. Anyway, no doubt talk to you soon. Thanks very much.